to his. I think the conservatism, if that's what we choose to call it, that will be credible um, in the uh, years ahead will be active, forward-looking, constructed, constructive, intimately connected with the lives of average citizens, and friendly. And let me just go through these contentions and try to illustrate briefly. Emerson once wrote that in every polity uh, there tends to always be a party of memory and a party of hope. And um, we must be, as we have been in our better days, our more successful days, the party of hope. And uh, someone once said conservatism is a democracy including the dead. Well, at least in my state, the dead are a reliably democratic constituency, so I don't, <laughs> I don't spend much time campaigning to them. But let me just say that, that that's, a, that's a wonderful <laughs> phrase when it expresses our reverence for tradition, our understanding and commitment to fundamental, timeless principles. But in terms of making our beliefs credible and successful and prevalent once again in this country, uh, our sights must be resolutely forward and to the future. In my view, we must, with respect to um, uh, other Americans, direct ourselves almost entirely to the young people of this country. When we speak to them, we are speaking to their parents and their grandparents who want the best for them. But I think that it is a starting point for our uh, recovery that we uh, examine every issue and present every issue in, in terms of its implications for those who will uh, soon inherit leadership in this country.